It was a crazy thought I had. I said, you know, if a 75-year-old man gets run over, then maybe they'll put in the speed bumps. A Sacramento senior has had enough, and it's taking a stand by lying down, literally. He's been trying to get a speed bump on the street in front of his condo, and he won't put the issue to bed. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf shows us the desperate move to be heard. Rachel? We are here on Dornaho Way. This is by Arden and Fulton. This cul-de-sac is at the back end of several apartment complexes. And, you know, it's quiet right now, but that is not the case. Look at these wheel marks here. At times, this place can be pretty dangerous. We're hearing from people who live and work here that people are doing donuts, driving dangerously, speeding, and it is really becoming a safety issue. But this is... This has gone too far. Wayne Panapento is a crusader who decided to take his crime fighting to the streets. You don't know my history, but they don't want to mess with me. This hardened Marine has camped outside government offices before to draw attention to topics, but this time he really laid it on the line. It was a crazy thought I had. I said, you know, if a 75-year-old man gets run over, then maybe they'll put in the speed bumps. The 75-year-old has been trying to get speed bumps on the street behind his house to protect children from dangerous drivers. They have enough to worry about than being hit by some macho wheelie jigger out there, you know, doing doing crazy things. So when he heard the screeching of tires in the cul-de-sac outside his condo yet again Sunday night, it really set him off. I, like I said, it was a crazy thing to do. Wayne grabbed his pillow and blanket and decided to make his bed and his point in the middle of the road. I wasn't looking to get run over. It's just that, I don't know, sometimes you get crazy thoughts in your head and you, you have to call attention to it. His neighbor's ring doorbell camera captured this Marine on a mission. Wayne's stunt stopped traffic. And people were stopping, what are you doing? I said, nothing, just laying here, having a sleep. Two CHP officers came to see what was going on. They sent a request to the county roads division, and Wayne went back inside. Things like that are not something you sit around and plan. But he doesn't apologize for caring. So Wayne was actually right here in the middle of the cul-de-sac, taking a little nap just for a couple hours, trying to make his point. Now, we contacted the Department of Transportation. They have had multiple complaints about this street, not just Wayne. They said that this street does not qualify for speed bumps because it is not 1,000 feet long, only 700, and it is a dead end. They conducted two different traffic studies, and they told us that the average speed was only 26 miles an hour. So no speed bumps for this street. But if you do have complaints in this area or any area, they're telling us to have people call the CHP. Yeah, Wayne's not sleeping on this issue. What a brave guy. Yeah. Thanks so much, Rachel. Uh, so how do you get a speed bump installed on your street? We're getting answers. Well, first, you would need to write a letter to the Department of Transportation with 10 signatures. Then a traffic study would look at the speed volume and number of crashes in that area. If approved, a letter will be sent out and the speed bump will be installed in one to two years.